This figure is freaking awful. Worst figure ever is what you're probably expecting me to say, but be ready to be shocked. Be ready to have your system rebooted and your ideals on Dami become absolutely poodoo. Because I'm going to say something shocking. I've seen this figure inside the box and I think it's pretty cool. This is the back of the box of Joe Sting, and it's, this is a tire. It's from January 2015, and he's from California. Oh, he looks like a spooky guy. Did he? I don't know. Yeah. And having said that, I also want to say that this is the worst figure ever. Get it? I'm hitting all the right. Whoa. What is this? Apparently this is a self-opening action figure doll set. Cool because it's 2015, almost October 21st, Back to the Future Day. Sting. Sting is the greatest wrestler of ever. Um, and this is the greatest wrestling doll of ever. So here is Sting. Let's get the close-up. You can see his face face isn't as awful as the pictures online made it out to be. Overall, I don't think that the face paint is that great. I think that Mattel could have done a better painting job. And I'm going to reference something on Twitter a lot. I posted a tweet with an image and uh, it's going to be linked in the comments and in the description. And it kind of shows why I think that this staying face is disappointing compared to a Jax. It is not as good, which is crazy when you think about it, because it's like Jax compared to Mattel. Mattel usually does a better job, but not here and not with Rey Mysterio's. But from certain angles, this definitely does look like contemporary Sting. I just feel like if they did a better job with the face, it would have been much greater. His coat is like, he's a member of the Beatles. Hi, my name is Paul McCartney. Paul is dead. Miss him, miss him, miss you, miss you. My name is Ringo. Peace and love. Where's Yoko? <laughs> Excuse me, are you Sergeant Pepper? I'm Yoko. Here Sting is without his jacket on. He looks cool. I guess. What is this, Walmart t-shirt series? A worst figure ever is what you were expecting me to say. I think it looks cool. I like the color of the shirt as it bounces around. It could have been a deeper red and it could have matched on his sleeves, but I think it works overall. The pants are cool. His gloves are nice, some nice, nice, nice detail on those gloves. And I'm quite liking this face scan. It's not perfect. It's better from the side than it is from the front. But it's kind of awesome and I think I'm enjoying this Sting figure way more. Well, I am. I can 100% confirm with you that I am enjoying the Sting figure way more than his defining moments figure. I think this has a bit better value because it does come with the baseball bat, which I already lost. <laughs> Joke's on you. It's right here. Worst accessory ever. Boom. Sting. The icon, the vigilant, the guy, that guy, the dude, the Chinese democracy, sting. Articulation, does anyone care about that? Because I'm not talking about it. You guys own Mattel figures, I'd imagine. They're all the same with these WWE figures. So talk about one is like talk about all. <laughs> but the pants look nice. Might be a new sculpt might just be a reuse. Overall, this is a spooky figure. Fits perfectly in with Spooktober. I love it. I'm putting it on my shelf. I'm not going to fig hack it. This jacket could have had a better paint job. Maybe some dry brushing technique could have brought some things out, but the printing is nice. Just the red blobs just look just like red blobs and I'm not the biggest fan of those. So this figure is way better than the picture. I'm relieved. And thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for Dolph. And then wait like three months till I get the rest of the set because I am a Dumbo, I'm an idiot, and I sold out. Hey, how's it going? Check out this video if you enjoyed the one you just watched. This is Tommy saying thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out my social media networking.